Welcome to Bled Talk, where language barriers are shattered and aspirations take flight. I'm your host, Samuel Bledsoe, here to ignite your English journey. Each week, join us for captivating conversations between native speakers, unraveling the secrets of vocabulary and expressions through authentic stories and natural dialogue. Let's empower your language skills and embrace the power of communication. Let's dive into today's episode. All right, everybody, welcome back to Bled Talk. This is part two of us talking about uh, the New York trip that we took when we were in high school. Well, actually, I guess it was right after high school we had finished. We were 18, young and dumb, and uh, it was it was a lot of fun. So we left off at, I think, day three, right? Yeah, we had just finished talking about when we went to Coney Island um, and, and getting all the the hot dogs and uh we didn't talk about the fact that logan and i were avoiding going in the ocean because it was cold and we are ocean people and then you and ryan oh we brought a frisbee um because we played ultimate frisbee in high school so i was just you know throwing the frisbee around and then you and ryan were out in the ocean and you know way steep throwing it back to logan and i on the shore and then you and ryan proceeded to start throwing it shorter and shorter so logan and i had to keep coming out further and further to come get the frisbee and i didn't have uh swim trunks that properly fit i had to yank my uh shoelace out of my shoe so i could have a belt very nice yeah i did actually i do remember that now it was it was fun though. It was good. After I think, did you guys eventually get in the water or? Yeah, like waist deep. It was cold. Yeah. No, but it, apparently it's always cold. You know that was the we were there in July, so I mean, that's peak of summer. Yeah, that's that's when it's the hottest. So you know, at least the water was cold and it was was it hot outside? I think it, so. I'm sh- sure it was. Probably yeah, like uh, ninety degrees. Yeah, for me anything's really pretty hot. But yeah. What did we do after that? Do you remember? I think we just took the subway back to the hotel and then chilled at the hotel for the night. We played we played a lot of 2K, uh, like 2K15 maybe. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, we did take, a, did we take an Xbox or? Yeah, we, we took a Xbox 360 and two controllers and we played 2K. And we pretty much just lost to you the whole time. Yeah, I played a lot. Played yep. a lot of two K in my in my time, but but yeah, it was good. And then I think after that, right? Did we go? We that's when we left. We left the next day. Yes. Yeah, so day, the next day we would have left. I think I think there was some sort of marathon going on super early in the morning too. So we had to go some like weird way to get to the highway um, because we were going to Boston. I don't know if you want to pop the map map back up. We were in New York, right? And then the next place was was Boston. Yep, we took whatever highway that is, like ninety five, maybe. Uh, there, it was a turnpike, though. It's all, I do remember that. We had a lot of, we paid a lot of tolls. Yes, I do. But remember. took took the turnpike um, up. But we stopped at a Dunkin' Donuts, like rest stop, gas station place that they had on the the tollway, so you didn't have to exit. Um, yeah, I remember getting some donuts. That's where I got my tea. Very crucial um, part of the day was <laughs> everybody picking up tea. Uh, so then we carried on through. I specifically slept through the entirety of Rhode Island. Um, don't remember that. Don't remember being in Rhode Island. Slept through it. Woke up uh, by Foxborough. You know, did, so we, some... <laughs> did we actually, I don't know if we went through Rhode Island. I think we went through Connecticut. Like we just went through Connecticut and then got into Boston that way, but I mean we we might well, have. I don't think so. I, yeah, I feel like we did, but you could be totally right because we could have just taken that up to like Worcestershire. Get all, all everybody from Massachusetts knows how to pronounce that properly and Worcestershire. Uh, yeah, maybe I don't know. Yeah, then we got to Boston. What did you think about Boston? The roads were horrible. We talked about this. We talked about this in the first episode. Um, it's not a great place to learn English because people have very thick uh, New England accents there. Um, it's an old, a very old part of the country. The roads there are very evident of that. Um, they're very poorly designed. So once we found a spot to park, 
we parked by the Boston Harbor and we walked over there to look at the Atlanta, Atlantic Ocean. We, we observed it. We thought about all of our, you know, fellow Americans that had, that had, you know, really done some things in Boston. Um, and we just wanted to embrace that ourselves. So like I said, we all had bought tea. Um, and then we dumped it into the Boston Harbor in, in honor of the Boston Tea Party. Um, so yeah, and then I, we didn't really do much else in Boston besides that. We pretty much just went in, dumped tea in the harbor and, <laughs> and leave. Yep. That was, that was Boston in general. And that was all in the morning too. I think it was, it was super early because like you said, we found out that there was, there was a marathon and there was a couple other things. And so I think we just decided we're like, we're going to leave early and try and avoid it was a it was a Sunday morning. I do remember that um, that we left New York because yeah. when we were in Boston, we went after Boston. We went up to Salem um, because all of us are enjoyers of history, um, and Salem is where the Salem witch trials were uh, took place, where the majority of all the witch trial related things were stemmed. Um, so we went up to Salem because we were like, let's go see some cool stuff. We had picked up, uh, you know, Boston, New England, New Yorker accents and all take, taken on alter egos at this point. Um, we all had different names and we're yelling at each other, um, the entire time, just like old, old yeah, New England it was, men. It was like, it was like a... Our alter ego was like all sixty-five to seventy-year-old New England men, who all all were were a little bit Italian as well. I do remember that it was. Uh, we had what was it? I was I was Frank Frank O'Sullivan. Uh, Logan was Paul Hughes. Ryan was Lawrence Lawrence the third. The third. <laughs> Uh, I think you were Gino Russo, right? That was the yep. that was the name. Yep. That was fun. Those, so we had we had taken on those egos. Um, and it's you know again, it's a Sunday morning. Um, it's maybe I don't know, probably like eleven, twelve, one o'clock. People are out and about in Salem, Massachusetts. They're they're going about their day. They're walking to church. Um, and as soon as we see a woman dry it walking down the side of the road, we roll the windows down and just start yelling, "It's a witch!" at any given person on the road. So. We were just uh, terrorizing the people of Salem, um, calling them witches on a on a perfectly beautiful Sunday. So hey, you know, it was fun. We, to, was, we were teenagers. What, this was before we knew what was the right thing to do. <laughs> we we're having we we're having a great time just being eighteen and free. So do you remember? Uh, and we got the, do you remember going to Walgreens and uh, asking? We we had dared Ryan to ask if they if they have witch repellent. <laughs> that was that was one of the best. We bought stuff, and the way we left, and we're like, right, we dare you to ask her if they have witch repellent. And I think the best part about it was that he went and asked, and like the lady gave him the most straight faced no. She he was like he's like I'm oh, sorry, do you have witch repellent? And his and she was like, no, we don't have that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's that great. That's we couldn't. You know, there's there's a little there's a little like church place there in Salem that has, uh, you know that that's where they kind of talk about the history. But like, there's no place you can go and know know what happened. We kind of we found we thought we found some places. We thought we found. I think I feel like the 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 what you're talking about is the museum, and I'm sure it was yeah. closed because it was a Sunday. Was it but closed, or did we just not want to pay for it? One of the two. Yeah, it could have been both. <laughs> but yeah. I do. I do know but, we tried to find where the where the witches were. Either either find out where they were executed or wherever wherever we the, went the, to the, the, things happened. Yeah, we went to the the gallows park up on a hill, presumably because that's where their gallows were historically held. Um, and it was just a park on top of a hill with a little you know gazebo thing or covered picnic area covered shelter um and like a swing set that overlooked the water tower which did have a wish on it yeah so you know we were we were in the right place but <laughs> uh, but yeah i don't do you do you remember what we did we eat after that or 
somewhere. I have no idea where, I have no idea what. I think we just started going back west. Did we go back west or did we go north? Uh, I have never been to New Hampshire or Vermont, so. Yeah, so we didn't go there. Yeah, you're right. Remote. Some capacity, we started going back east. I don't know oh, yeah, whether. Right. Yeah, and then back into New York um, because in the next stop on our list was Cooperstown. I think yep, that I was going to say, I think that lake is where it is. Um, Cooperstown was our next stop. Uh, it was a pleasant drive into the middle of nowhere, New York, to a very small town called Cooperstown. Um, I remember there was no service on the drive. So that was kind of lame, especially being in the back seat. Not much to do back there. We so had to talk just, to each other. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure we continued to yell at each other like we we're from Boston and 60 to 70 years old. Oh, it lasted um, to like the end of the trip, I think, our, our, our alter egos. So Cooperstown, it, the only reason we stopped there is because that's where the Baseball Hall of Fame is. Um, I'm a big baseball person Ryan liked baseball Logan liked baseball Sam you slightly like baseball I I respect baseball as a sport I'm sure it's 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 one of those things that I think playing baseball is fun but like watching baseball has always just been like very boring for me but because I am an American I'm a typical American man I, I understand baseball I just it was never something super exciting. But I do remember that I did not go to the the Hall of Fame. That was you guys. You guys all in. I just I thought you did go in. Uh, I didn't go in. I was the only one. I stayed out, and I walked up and down the street. Uh, I think I bought, like, candy or something. And then I went to the Dang. park that they had. Because um, you guys, like, if you look at Cooperstown and you go in, obviously there's the... The Hall of Fame is like right here. And I went somewhere around here. There was there was something and I decided I just walked down the street and I went to this little park here. And I sat I sat there and waited for you guys to to finish your uh to finish your Hall of Fame tour. Well, it was pretty cool. I got to see, you know, different things that I wanted to see as a baseball fan um they had like the david freeze jersey um from the st louis cardinals 2011 world series um which as a cardinals fan was super lit um they had a whole bunch of cool stuff in there jackie robinson stuff babe ruth stuff i mean all all, all of baseball it was i mean it's the hall of fame so that's where it goes yeah i mean honestly i i kind of wish that i would have gone to it but at the same time, like, I don't, I never lost sleep over it. I just, right. I think it would have been a cool idea. I think the only reason I didn't go in is because it was like $40. And I uh, I did not want to pay, didn't want to pay anything. Because <laughs> the, because, uh, you know, that was towards the end of the trip. So we were, our, our fun. Already spent, our, a, already our, spent our, a lot of money. Um, yeah. And then after that, I think we went to, where was is oh it's over here? I know I went. I wanted to go to that place for my for church, which was it's called Palmyra. I don't remember exactly where it was, but it was somewhere around here because it's uh. I think we passed Syracuse to the west, and then yeah, because we did we went back. I remember now. You're right. Yeah, but it was. I don't know. It was somewhere around here, but we went and then. We stayed a night in Syracuse, and that was that that hotel interaction that we had where we uh, we almost didn't have a place to stay. That was yeah. That would have that would have been interesting. Yeah, that was a pretty tiresome day. It was a uh, another long long travel day. Yeah, long travel day, lots of walking, and I probably wouldn't do the same trip again, but. I actually, I actually enjoyed traveling by car. Like I thought that that was really fun. Uh, I know Logan did, and he said that if he was going to ever go and do anything again, he would just fly. But like, I don't know. I feel like flying would take away a lot of the fun memory parts. There's a lot of songs and 
a lot of yep. different things that we listened. You know, there was just there's a lot of different stuff that we listened to because it was like 36 or 40 hours in a car in total. It was a lot of time. I remember. But yeah, I'm a big big road trip guy too, so I was all for it. Um, yeah, but it was yeah, a lot so of fun. We went. After Palmyra, we went back to the Syracuse, like you said, hotel fiasco, got a place to stay, thankfully. Um, then the next morning, we woke up, headed back west to the Buffalo greater area, specifically to go to Niagara Falls, um, the what really should be like a national park, um, but it's a state park in New York. Uh, supposedly, it's better to view from the Canadian side. As a as an American, I just jokingly say it's because well you're looking at America, so right. But the American yeah. has the Americans have the better side to of view, the- right? We just don't have the good view of it because we're not looking at it, right? But yes, the Niagara Falls is a a giant waterfall, um, and that's and that's about it. It smells like fish, and it's a big waterfall. <laughs> and then I think. I mean, it was fun though. I think that was kind of the yep. last. It was one of the last places that we were, that we were going. You know, like it was the. It was, it was good. It was a good thing to do in the morning. I think it was still it was still a lot of fun. That was one of the few places where we got, a full picture of all four of us together. Yep. yep. We were we were taking pictures, just not of each other. Right. That's the and, it was, and we're a bunch of dudes, so it's just not like a. It's not a normal thing to do. Commonality to be like, yeah, hey, dude, you want to take a picture together? Yeah, let's take a picture. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't. But, happen. Yeah, Niagara Falls was great. It was it was nice, and then went down to Buffalo. Had Buffalo wings in Buffalo, New York, presumably because they were created in Buffalo, New York. Um, we didn't go to the place that claimed to be the original because it, it didn't open yet. Yeah. Yep, because it was like eleven a.m. in the morning, and we were 10. ready for lunch. Yeah, it was oh. like it was like ten o'clock because we woke up early. We were so we had it at Buffalo Wild Wings, Buffalo Wings, and Buffalo Wild Wings in Buffalo, New York. That was the idea. And then uh, from there, it was another little little hike of a of a drive down to Cleveland. Um, we made that drive in and as we were getting into the city you uh pretty much and you introduced me to machine gun kelly i don't know if it was this point of the trip or prior to then but uh, rolling into cleveland the home of machine gun kelly you played the land or till i die uh, no until i die yep yeah it was Um, was perfect it was a good it was a good entrance and then we went to the rock and roll hall of fame that was pretty cool yeah, that was fun because I think the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was it was a place that we all, all four of us really liked rock and roll and that kind of thing. We all equally could enjoy it. Yeah, it wasn't like it wasn't anybody's highlight. Like not like their. It wasn't like oh, this was Austin's favorite thing, and we're just gonna go do it because Austin wants to. It was that everybody wanted to go, and everybody was excited to be there and it was a lot of fun i i really enjoyed yeah it was cool. cool it's a big old pyramid uh on the on the lakefront yeah that's where i got all of my souvenirs <laughs> for, for my family because it was the last place but you know it was it was a cool it was a cool experience and then and then yeah then we avoided our next fiasco at the hotel which would have been in columbus ohio yeah. Um. So we ate dinner there and then made the rest of the trek home. And I slept through the entire state of Indiana. Yeah, I remember driving through Indianapolis because I I think I was forced to sit up front for the last <clears throat> for the last leg, and um, it was fun because you know Ryan and I we we had to talk a lot because uh, I wanted to make sure that he stayed awake while while he was driving, and I think. I think we got back at like three AM, four AM something. It was it was late at night. Oh yeah, it was it was super late. I remember because my dad came and came and got me in the morning and asked me about the trip and everything, and it was uh, it was fun. It was yeah. I, I think would say 
it was probably one of the best vacations that I have ever done in my whole life. And I, as much as I would love to say that hopefully there'll be a better one, I don't know if like combining experiences and just like, you know, getting to grow as a person, I don't know if there's going to be a better, a better trip than that. There might be. Yeah. That one, that one was a pretty epic trip, you know, cause we we're freshly 18, <laughs> freshly freed to the world. Um, just getting to spend it with, with all of the people that we, we went with. Well, that, and like, you know, obviously being married and having a lot of experiences with, with our wives is, is great. It's fantastic. And those are all special moments as well. But like on an individual level, you mean like, you know what I mean? Like for like personal, like personal experiences. Cause I, I kind of like to divide that, you know, like there's, there's stuff that happens like personally. And then there's like, you know, cause when you get married, you and your wife kind of become one, it's like a new, a new entity. And I think that <clears throat> going on that trip was just a good, it was a good way of saying like goodbye to one house, uh, well, one, not one house, I hope not one half, but one part of one part of your life and kind of moving on to the next. I think it was a, it was, it was a good way for us to, to kind of like, you know, finish the high school chapter because yeah. it, it was a good way to know, know more, um, and learn a lot more and good thing we all liked history because it was like a huge like history trip i think that yeah. was that yeah. that was one of the big it, it was it was very american and and very history based but it was it was good and i i wouldn't trade it for anything i would i was i was thinking about this trip the other day because um someone had asked me what my favorite vacation was ever that i had ever done and you know a lot of a lot of different things came into mind but then i remembered i was like oh there was a huge trip that I did. And I also remember doing it because I remember planning it like to the dollar. Like I was, I looked prices. I got, I was very, <laughs> close, very, very close with the estimates. And my mom and dad were super impressed because you know, we pulled off this whole trip for, I think it was $500 per person. And, you know, $500 to go and visit, what was it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different cities and do different things in each city and visit all of these big, you know, do the, the basic touristy stuff and everything. I don't, I, I know we could have done more had we focused on like one, you know, one specific city, but you know, for, for, for kids who just didn't get to go out a lot. Cause I don't think any of us were really big travelers before then, you know what I mean? Like we would, I don't know about you, but like, I would, I would go to Florida and like, for me, that was traveling or like I go to Southern. Yeah. And that was, you know, that was crazy, but it was never, there was never like a big vacation. You know what I mean? So it was kind of a different thing for, for all of us. And then it was a really good, really good experience. Yeah. I will always cherish that trip. Um, I've, I've wanted to go back to New York numerous times. Um, I'm a, I like big cities and New York is uh, a pretty great city, especially in the terms of photography. So I've all, and it's so funny cause Logan also picked up photography. I picked up photography like a year after we gone on that trip and him and I had both talked about it. It's like, why didn't we just pick it up beforehand? Cause that would have been probably the most epic trip to do photography on. Oh yeah. It would have been a really good trip to take a lot of take a lot of pictures, do a lot of things. And I, it, you know, I like, I like taking pictures sometimes. I think that's the, that's a, I think my wife, she thinks that I don't like taking pictures, but I do. It's just, I don't like when pictures take over the trip, if that makes sense. Like, unless you're traveling to take pictures, then like, for me, the trip is, you know, the trip is the trip and you take pictures to remember what you did. Right. And so, uh, cause the, well, and you know, the thing is like, you take a picture of somebody and it takes like 50 different pictures for them to like, or not even like one, but like accept one, you know? So right. be like, Oh, that one, that one works. Yeah. But it's different from photography where you just take, you know, a bunch of pictures and 
you go home later and see if you, you know, see which ones you like a little better. See if you have anything to work with. If it was all in focus and the exposure wasn't too dark. Yeah. Well, you know, those fun are stuff. you can always mess with. But yeah, no, it was a really fun trip and I'm, I'm always excited. Hopefully, uh, hopefully one day we get to do a trip and maybe we'll go out west instead of we sh- out east. We should do it. We both got both got a wife and a family now so we yeah make a... so more expensive but yeah <laughs> but, but 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 not not just expensive but you know uh it, it'd be more it would be a lot more fun and uh but yeah we'll definitely have to go out maybe we'll go out to like los angeles san, or san francisco something like that we'll we'll make it work but yeah well well cool well austin thank you for coming on the the show again or the show the you know, the, the podcast and absolutely uh, appreciate it I'm sure our, our listeners appreciate it as well and um, thank you everybody else for listening and for participating and hearing our trip and our crazy stories and we hope that you're able to learn something from it uh, have everybody have a wonderful wonderful night or day whichever whichever it is for you at the time you're listening and stay safe and we'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to Bled Talk. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us for more content. We are on all of the popular podcast platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcast, and we're even on YouTube. Don't forget to send in your questions and your suggestions. Thank you once again and have a great day.